All right, guys, Josh Tech Gamer back again. I'll try not to look at this and look at the camera. Um, I do have to look at the screen so I can kind of make sure I'm focused into things. So anyways, yes, we are doing actually a vlog. Hang on, let's zoom out. <laughs> I'm actually not used to this. I haven't done this in a long time. I usually use the cell phone and everything. So yeah, we are actually doing installing memory into the computer. Um, as you can tell, I'm not focused and the PC's focused because yeah, my auto focus. It's terrible. So anyways, I got the mic up here. I got the little tripod right here. Um, yeah, we're gonna install the memory. So right now, this is the deal. So right now I am running 16 gigs DDR4 uh, Vengeance Corsair memory. Now the 16 gigs is good, but since I'm rendering in 4K and doing more better videos, so and yeah, so anyways, I just wanna upgrade it to 32 gigs. So I did buy some more memory right here. We're gonna actually open it up. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna open it. I did get it on Amazon. I'll put the link down below where you guys can get this. I'm sorry, I keep looking over there and I need to just, yeah. I buy two more sticks. Now they're not RGB. I wanted to go for, uh, sorry, my head's cutting off. I wanna go for performance and not flashy RGBs. Um, so it is a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, you're looking at, at least $90. So we're gonna be adding more memory in. So yeah, let's definitely shut off the PC. Um, so real quick before we actually start, um, I do have a program called uh, uh, GPU-Z Gigabytes. Now, if you guys are not sure, it's actually right, it's actually right there. It's called GPU Gigabytes. Um, it's a great program to use. It was like your GPU, your processor, your motherboard, and it gives you all your specs so you know what you're running. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep looking over there again. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just not used to this. So yeah. So anyways, that's um, it's running at 16 gigs DDR4 Vengeance, 3600. So that's that's how fast it's running. So anyways, um, yeah. Let's shut down everything. We're shutting down my baby. Yes, she's being shut down. As you guys can tell, I do have two keyboards. I have my 60% keyboard I use quite a bit when I'm gaming Fortnite. Yes, I know. And then I use this, but I'm so used to a 60% keyboard. It's very hard to go to a tank keyless, unless I'm editing and stuff. So anyways, we're shutting down everything. All you have to do is just put in the memory and turn it back on. That's it. We're not overclocking. We're not going to the BIOS. We're not doing anything. So uh, my cousin, my IT man, he is more my tech friend uh my cousin um also you know i'm not fully into like building pcs from scratch um i did build this pc about four years ago so yes it's still running great it's a 1060 um six gigs uh geforce gtx nvidia graphics card and it's still good i'm still gaming games really good so yeah we shut it down all the way as you guys can tell you tell it's kind of dark in there it's creepy in there so yeah let's um we don't have to unplug anything i am gonna air it out now the thing is when you do air cans you actually want to be careful and not spray and get it where the, the water starts spraying out and get it in your so this is the memory we're actually using. Uh, we're going to be using the Vengeance. Don't worry about the LPX. I asked him about, about my cousin about that. He said, don't worry about that. Just buy two sticks. 3600 DDR4 16 gigs. So that would give us 32 gigs of memory. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited. He said you will see a uh, performance in it. It'll run a lot better. So yeah, let's just uh, try this. There she is. I mean, she's looking pretty good. See, I don't know how Bitwit does this, like, do vlogs while British, you know. Like, how does he do it? How does he open stuff one hand? Okay, here's the sticks. Uh, don't have to worry about not touching everything. It's you're fine. It's just, it's just memory. It's just. Um, I did notice in my other memory sticks, I didn't peel this stuff off. So make sure you peel off the plastic right here. Um, yeah. So just kind of grab your finger and just kind of so yeah we're gonna be sawing this clicking it in there's only one way to put it in so yeah we're gonna actually put it in these slots right up here lots of slots uh, so actually we're gonna be uh, disconnecting the power we're gonna turn this off turn off the PC on the power supply make sure you turn that off and yeah and then we're gonna actually unplug it from the back from the main power supply we're gonna shut it all down and put it in the memory just to be safe um, 
Ah, oh, man, look at this memory. This looks so good. Yeah. There we go. DDR4 Vengeance. So, yeah. Um, the way you could tell is the way you put it in. The way you put yours in. So you're going to put it in the same way. Now, there's notches right here, as you guys can see. So there's only one way to go in. So it's pretty simple. So let's unplug the power supply. Not the power supply, but the, you know, the power cord. Shut everything down, we'll be good to go. Right here, uh, yeah, we're gonna put the two sticks right there, and one right there, and we'll have four sticks. And as you can tell, you can look at the way it goes in, just like that, and you can see the little divots in there. Uh, let's see, yep, you can see the divots right there. It's gonna go right in those little grooves. there okay I think it's in and how you can tell is if the tabs on here click and we're good to go so I did put it in the right way because it'll snap right in put it in there in there snap 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 and snap so once you hear the snaps, and if you could pull these little tabs in on the ends, yeah, if you guys can kind of see right there, those little tabs, you're good to go. Just want to make sure we are good. I did forget to show you something. It does say 16 gigs DDR4, so it should go to 32. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's turn the power on. This is what I'm waiting for, guys. Give it some time. It's going to have to... Um, yeah. Everything is all messed up on my desk. Oh my god, it's giving me OCD right now. Like, I am really... Okay, I shut off. I know it's supposed to do that. It scares me sometimes when it does that. And it's turned back on. All right, here we go. Let's give it some time. That popped up. So far, so good. Now my cousin's like, dude, it's so easy, Josh. Just clip in the memory and just turn it on. You don't have to go in the BIOS, don't have to do anything. So, moment of truth, guys. Drum roll. Anyways, that's the fan that I did put in. Um, did not get RGB memory. I mean, I know I could have added the RGB memory to make it more better and flashy. And I'm looking for performance. I'm not looking for luxury right now. Um, it is a lot cheaper, so remember if you go RGB memory, you are paying a lot more, especially 32 gigs. You're looking at quite a bit for Corsair. Um, I'll put the links down below with the memory that I did get. And yeah, and so I'll put that down below and I'll put them on PC parts so what I can find and stuff. The case, I can't find the case anymore. This case is old. I am going to switch out the case eventually. Um, but yeah, definitely I'll put everything down below. You know, maybe the keyboard, you know, you guys can check out everything on here so so we are going from 16 to 32 gigs ddr4 corsair memory now remember don't mix match your memory if you got that memory or any memory you have use the exact same memory ddr4 if you have ddr3 and you go to ddr don't, don't do that use the exact same specs you're running so yeah um look at that it just got more sticks Ooh. Now, so far the PC is almost five years old. Next year will be five years I built this PC. And it's pretty old, but I did get the i7-700. So it's a $400 processor, but it's good for a while. For what I'm using. What I'm doing and everything. The graphics card, I will eventually upgrade and down the road. So, yeah. What the PC is, I will put everything down below in the specs. Um, in the description down below. Now, NVIDIA is a great program and... If you have it, they did do an update where you can see your FPS, your uh, fans, your your how fast your you know your PC is running cool and everything. So I really like that. There's this new update they did, and yeah, it's really great. So we are gonna actually run this over here. Uh, yeah, there we there. So so far everything's working, so that's good. 
All right, so this is the little program you're gonna be using. Uh, we're gonna click on memory. 32 gig bytes, baby, right there. It did read it, if you guys can kind of see. Yes, dual 32 gigs, 3600, pretty close. Um, the main board is the Z270X Gaming 5 Aurora motherboard. So it does tell you motherboard. Your CPU is my Intel i7 700, not the K. And graphics card is the 1066 gigs GeForce, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it looks like it worked. So definitely, that's it. We're done. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Um, I'm going to end this video. It's super hot. Um, I just want to show you how to mostly install the memory. So we're actually going to try that. And plus, I'm running Wallpaper Engine. I'm running two monitors. Now, the monitor right here is actually a 144 hertz. So the higher the hertz and the higher the resolution, you'll need a better graphics card. So yeah, this is a 1080p 1920 by 1080. And this is a 16 by 9 ultra wide over here. So um, yeah, most definitely. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put everything down below and stuff. So it was so easy. It was so easy. I don't know why I was so worried. But the only way I'm going to learn is if actually if I physically do this and do it myself. So um, yeah. So like I said, if you build a PC, I really recommend to get the processor chip, the most expensive processor chip. It's not focusing. Um, go with that because you can always upgrade your memory and gpu later the graphics card and everything so just remember that when you do that get that the motherboard those are the big things you want to think about when you build a pc so i don't know why my camera is not focusing but that's about it guys make this video short i will be editing half of this stuff out because this freaking took forever stalling memory only took like five minutes so all right, guys, thanks for watching Josh Take Game. Everything will be down below in the description where you guys could check everything out that I did today on the video. So, all right, check you guys later.